Hi, welcome back to Non Niche. I'm Raquel, and I have another amazing interview for you. His name is Mr. Jose Cifuentes. He goes by Cifuentes as his artist name. He has a brilliant story, and I can't wait for you guys to hear it. And he's just truly amazing. So, uh, <laughs> and me kind of giving you all the details basically doesn't cut it. Um, so let's get into it. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Hey, nice. Hi, how are you? Good, good. I'm, how are you? Thank I'm you good. so much for inviting me. Oh, no, thank you so much for coming. This is actually, I'm really excited about interviewing you. So this is a true honor. So uh, oh. no, I'm happy to have like my, one of my favorite pieces behind you. So it's just- Oh, like, you yeah, like it? Yeah, nice. it's, it's one of my favorites. I was uh, telling my mom about it and she's like, she's like very big in like art too. So I was just like, mom, you gotta look at this. This is just, yeah. just I sh shared your story. So she's probably gonna try attempt. I should say attempt to like Thank tune you. in. <laughs> Thank, you. So, Thank you so much. Yeah, well, well I, I, I feel like we're a little bit early. So I'm just gonna wait for a couple more. Can minutes. you hear me well? Yeah, I can hear you well, you're perfect. Sweet. Can you hear awesome. me? Absolutely fine, okay. yes. Good. I was just like, uh oh, um, because last time we had, um, I was thinking about getting a mic. Last time we had like a connection issue where I can really hear the other person. I was just like, oh no. Um, yeah, I got myself a mic and a light. Yes, uh, uh, they come in handy, don't they? <laughs> you have to. Yeah, I had to make peace with that actually, because I, I was really against the whole social media thing for a while. Yes. So like, kind of got it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, 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 I don't do this for that. Right. But if it, if it helps you get to a Elevate. point where you don't have to work for other people or just, you know, be free and do whatever you want, making good money, having a business, yeah. not just painting to get money, but having a business. Exactly. It's really cool. Really cool. So yes. So I'm now taking full advantage of it, and let's see how how that goes. I think it's so interesting because like um you know what people associate art and how we express ourselves now it's so technical where you are your own brand and you kind of have to like fit with the time unfortunately instead of just let your work speak for itself but like in a different way Absolutely. and um like with social media like you know unfortunately everybody's attention span is a little bit on I'm like the, the lower end. So it's guilty, just like, guilty. Yeah, and it's just like you, you're trying to like get a different way and it's just like another way of engaging. And uh, also I think it's awesome because uh, uh, talking to people in different countries, different states and like that's coming right. together and right. to engage. So I think that it's gonna be interesting down the road. So uh, yeah, but it looks like we do have a couple of people in. Hello, welcome. Thank you for joining us today. Thank I'm just you. Gonna wait for few more minutes but are you having a good day though jose absolutely yeah i had a, I had an amazing day yeah i've been here at the studio and just chilling all day and just yeah hanging out with the dogs <laughs> that's always not nice yeah. yeah um i i was uh thank you for the love um i was today uh reading over your paperwork and i was laughing at myself because when i write I just write differently. I do like a lot of yoga and <laughs> I'm trying to get my mind right. And I listen to like really good music because it's, it it's works. important for me to like get the story across correctly because as an artist, we are sensitive about our shit, you know? Um, but I just don't want to miss a beat. And like, it's just like a natural flow. So it's just like different mediums. It's like a different way of art. And, um, and I looked at one of your pieces today and it was just like the flow of vibration and the intention of it. And I was just like, I'm so excited about yeah. this piece. So. Smile in the face of whatever happens. Exactly. That's it. That's exactly. it. Exactly. Mean it. And mean it. Don't just do it. You gotta mean oh, it. You I gotta, mean you it. gotta be <laughs> happy with whatever comes, good and bad, and make sure if if you have a way to express it, 
you have to do it man because if not you're just going to repress that shit and it doesn't work it doesn't help it doesn't help so yeah yeah but um since we're already kind of like warmed up i just want you to kind of kick it off and tell us a little bit about yourself your background and um how you really got started in your technique cool so I'm Cifuentes. That's how I call myself. That's how I call myself. That's my mother's last name. She was the only person really that got me to to pursue arts because I was very curious about it. Always since I was five, she put me in art school. You know, just to fuck around, <laughs> nothing crazy. But I always, I was always getting attention. I was always getting, you know, happy. The fact I was packing black books here and there right. you know just stacking them up with drawings of everything and i just knew, knew that's what it was you know and, and in high school the same thing mm -hmm. in in colombia around the year 2000 i started doing graffiti completely doing graffiti on the streets and that you can see that yeah. still in my work i still use the same tools as well because i like that i got i got into some issues in the u.s for doing graffiti so I had to like really stop it. So I started doing it on canvas and it just took off from there, you know, and it's always been a search for, for, for me, like who, who the hell am I, you know? And, and does anybody care? Now it doesn't matter. Now I, now I care. I used yeah. to care about what people think, you know, cause as an artist, a validation is yeah. important, but now it means nothing. Like, like I put out the best that I can and is received the best that it can. You know, and that's it without me being like emotional about it. Oh, do people care? They don't care. They like it. They don't like it. I get, I get hate from YouTube sometimes, you know, so is that going to make me stop? On the contrary, you right. know, like I have to keep on going because it matters. It just matters. Keep on doing art because right now art is like one of the, the meaningful things that are still going on. If it's, you know, yeah. like if shit shuts off, we can still do art, yes. you know organically too in um, absolutely I've yeah so and in in 2006 i i lived in the states right mm -hmm. and i had a studio in a city in hoboken new jersey oh, okay. love that place. i lived in weehawken too and that's where i kind of started with my peeps you know like doing tagging and stuff like that shout out to them and completely art had a job exhibited in, in in New York City and New Jersey as well. Mm -hmm. Had a pretty good run. And then I had issues with immigration. I had to go to Medellin, to my home city in Colombia. Okay. Yeah, my story is long as hell. Sorry if I'm boring no, you. No, you're not. But you're perfect. Yeah. It's, it's, just, it's just that it's, it's just one of those things that keeps happening, you know. And, and I keep going back and forth here and there. And I ended up in, in Canada where, you know, in Colombia, it was unsafe for us to stay because we had a business. We had it. We suffered extortion, my wife and I, and we just wanted a place where I can be an artist and my wife can be whatever she wanted to be. Now she, she she's a baker, you know, like she she could be the best baker in the world, you know. In Canada, you can be, you know, and, and it's amazing. Yeah. So that's what we're doing. We're just trying to be free. We're trying to be free here in Canada, and it's bumpy, but it is worth it. That's that that will be the key of it. And, being an artist in Canada is really fucking awesome because people here, they really receive it. They want you to be an artist. Yeah. You know, they don't look at you like, oh, but what you do? But what else do you do? How are you making money? They don't care about what, how you make your money. They really want you to be an artist. So I dig it. I completely dig it. And that's, I've been six years here and I'm not stopping. Six years, yeah. That's, that's amazing. That's amazing. Um, I think that to be honest, like, I think how people reflect art and like freedom of just expression, is very important. And I see how it like starts to evolve differently, and especially for you, you're evolving, you're changing every day. And then like, I always talk about seeking validation from like outside party instead of seeking your own answers within yourself and like having that power to do so brings like a certain vibration that you naturally send out. That's I think right. That's the most important thing as an artist, yeah. as a person, yeah. whoever is a creative to do that because 
everybody's always going to be like in your ear about something like either like in a ne negative way or a positive way but as long as you are your number one fan and you have a determination to one do what you love That's because right. in my right. opinion i believe that we're not here to struggle i don't That's think that right. I don't I don't think that's what it is. I think life looks differently for everybody else because we're not the same. And every day society tries to cohort and basically frame us to look like the exact same person, to act like the exact same person, to do the exact same things because they format like this is the only way you can be successful. Absolutely. But Absolutely. as a human being, we create our own success. We create the own definition of it. And once you step out of that, and I believe that you've done it so well and you're like i said your story is amazing like i can even it is on my head. going no we are, it's we ongoing are, are. i'm still like... right now i don't mean that i'm not gonna die i mean i'm going through some shit right now in canada that i can't even talk yeah. about because it's that serious and it's like okay so is that gonna make me stop painting no you know what i mean because the, the point right now is to be an artist it doesn't matter where you are, you know, like, don't look at it as, I, oh, I, I'm an immigrant. So, you know, I can't keep painting. You know, I'm an immigrant because I've heard that before. Like, fuck that. You can be an immigrant and be an artist. Yeah. You can do whatever the hell you want, you know. So if you're sure about it, the rest is just don't stop. It's going to get hard. But you know what? Going to a job you hate is hard. So <laughs> not doing that shit. I'm not doing that shit. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. And and so far, I've, I've been successful at that. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, and, exactly. and money, money has flowed. And, and I do believe in abundance. I believe the pie is huge. I believe the pie is for everybody. There's a slice for each of us. And nobody's taking nobody's anything. You know, we're all eating the same. This is huge, dude. You know, so collectors are many. Houses are tons people want to put things around the house so if you feel like ah, i'm just an artist well, who am i going to sell to no think about it as a business find your market find people who like the kind of things that you do and and you know follow marketing rules dude and you just start from there now we have ai to help us with all of that stuff so it's like are you an artist and i always say that shit are you a professional or or you just a dude with an expensive hobby you know and like it's okay they're both okay but you you understand you have to be the one to know okay not a business i just want to fucking do this chilling mm -hmm. or if you're gonna go in a business you really gotta go crazy you can't just half-ass it because if not you're just gonna be angry all the time yeah you're gonna be angry and and that's not the point the point is to paint love this is what i love and if you think about it i reflect that shit somehow there's no hate in there. You know what I mean? Like I try to leave those kind of emotions somehow, somewhere else. Like the, the canvas is no place for hate in my world. You know what I mean? Like I, I let those days way behind. Yeah. And, and uh, I like how you say mm -hmm. that you kind of correct your energy before you paint. Um, because uh, I think sometimes as an That's artist cool. like you can easily get frustrated and it's just like the journey of creating the masterpiece is like unstructured and in life like you have to have just like that discipline you're like all right if i'm gonna do this i need to do it with like all my heart my all my drive because That's right. you have like these that self-sabotaging like today i posted about uh the definition of fear and I said, okay, logically, it's just like, it's dangerous, this, that, and the other. But I feel like we kind of changed the definition a little bit as we got older. And we associated fear with stuff that we really wanted to do because it wasn't accepted so easily, right. you know? And, and I think with your story and how you create, it's just fearless. It's completely fearless. And, and it's that entirely, is the point. Yeah. That is the point to be honest, because at the end, if you, you yourself or anybody, what are you really afraid of? You know what I mean? Like, what is it? And if you really think about it, I've been going to Reiki, yeah. you know, like the light yeah. healing. And stuff. That stuff is amazing because it really gets into you. Like, it's like therapy. You, you talk and you get to a point where you realize that it's you, nothing else. 
Is you the one who makes you go forward or is the one who makes you stop? There's no nothing. Whatever happens to you is outside of your control. So the, the rest is you. And it's not easy to understand that shit because then you have to be responsible for that or not. Yeah, you got to hold yourself accountable. And accountability... Exactly. And if you want to be an artist, it comes with craziness, you know? But at the same time, you can be as crazy as you want That's because you're an artist, you know? So, so it's cool. It, it, it has the freedom of it. Yeah. And, you know, and I think um, just you saying that you want to be an inspiration to others, and, and that's one of the main reasons why I wanted to create this platform is to kind of elevate your story and other people's story as creators because like we're so we're so boxed in <laughs> and we're so like big light beings and full of creativity and ideas yeah. i'm just like why do yeah. we have to depend on an algorithm to just like oh well mm -hmm. they're not pushing my stuff out so i'm not gonna do this that or another i'm like no let me help because like it only takes one person and um Sometimes I lose train of thought, but it just takes one person. And like I said, um, I've learned in my journey, like I started out with like corporate life. So uh, uh, just, I just started like being everybody's like boss, but not getting paid and then underpaid. And then starting having okay. like, you know, I wasn't getting the worth that I know that I was putting back in and that uh, recognition. And I was just like, what am I like literally killing myself <laughs> going like going both ends on the stick yeah. and i was just like no i'm gonna take over my you know own life and many people disagree and i've lost a lot of friends i've lost you know family members like if you don't support yourself and realize that you are basically creating your own reflection of your world exactly what hell yeah that's exactly it you're I just believe like that yeah and i'm just like like you have the ability to change it. So if you made that world and you're not happy, change it. That's it. If you have the ability to change it, just do. And and it, it could be a lot like of small or big. But like every every step is a step. And That's you correct. do that every day. You do that every day. You show up for yourself. You show up for others. You show up for your story. You show up just to show up. And that takes strength. Absolutely. And I commend you for that. And again, I'm going to praise no, you a lot on here. So <laughs> I hope you're ready. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. No, no, it's cool. And that's why I reached out. I thought, uh, you know, it's cool. It's cool what you're doing. And I, I, I support Thank it. You. I like it. Yeah. So, okay. Now for the fun things. What are your upcoming projects or your favorite pieces? Like, I got to know more. Okay. Let me show you. Okay. Show me around. Ooh, we're getting a tour. Yeah, this is the one I'm working on right, right, right now. Okay, I love it. Yeah, this is, <clears throat> and it's on linen. Oh, it's on linen. Oh, yeah, it's pretty hard. cool. Yeah, these are all in on linen. Mm -hmm. Funny enough, yeah. this guy, which was, it was being created and then it was destroyed by a governmental entity in Canada <laughs> that I cannot mention mm -hmm. so I call the refused mm -hmm. this is I call this one Danza en el Bosque which is dancing in the woods oh, that's so I, like, I like the colors of these this is the my windows I love your windows <laughs> I'm right downtown yeah this is the stuff I'm working on oh I love that So, uh, uh, what is the story behind the figure, like the silhouettes? Okay. I paint the immigrant experience, right? I lived it for since I'm two years old, mm -hmm. right? I used to think that that was um, something to be not proud of. I'm not going to say ashamed because I'm not and I've never been, but it's like, eh, why do I have to go to do this? You know, yeah. And later, later, I understand that that's actually a pretty good advantage for me. You know, because I have many places where I can connect, and I've lived many cultures, and it's it's, it's cool. You know, I had is that's what I that's what I started painting the the immigrant experience. The silhouettes come because well, most immigrant 
participants try not to have a face because they're they're scared of something. So they they completely try to stay outside of the grid or whatever. You know, I lived illegally in the U.S., so I I, I can say that. Right. And it was crazy, dude. You know, I like I always felt like I had to do this everywhere I went if I was gonna take a train or and I got I got detained at a train. So oh my gosh. things like that. Yeah, no, it's cool. It was a stupid thing that happened. And the the silhouette ended up being like that. Like, you know, the that we're here and there's emotion inside of us. There's there's stuff that we wanna say, but we can't say it because it has issues that could be, you know. So that's what I paint completely. The immigrant experience, dude, and any immigrant can totally be an artist, can totally succeed however the hell they want and eat their lunch, man. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, just, just be, you know, just be. And um, I, think some, I think sometimes people forget about that. Just being is a journey within itself. It's just like how you want to be. And it's just sad because people uh, like yourself have to be, and it's not quite a fight, but it's just like an unsettledness. But you take that unsettled, you know, energy and create a love vibration with it. You create a, a creative vibration with it instead of just live in fear. And that's, that's, right. that's all it is. It's just fear. And... I think, you know, unfortunately, we get sold on fear so easily, so easily. And Amen. I can't help but think, Amen. I'm just like, what am I scared for? What That's am it. I scared for? And I'm still doing the same thing, you know? You're still mm. doing the same thing. You're being you, you're being there for your, uh, your husband, your dogs, your family, you're holding your family name. You're not giving up on that story. And... I mean, there's so many things, and I, I just, again, commend you, and I... You're welcome to I, come. Toronto is awesome. No, that's, like, my next trip. I already have my passport I'm and everything. <laughs> I'm right downtown, for real. I'm, like, right in the heart. Out the CN Tower is not too far from here. That's like, beautiful. It is an amazing spot to have, and I'm very proud of it. So how long have you had the studio? Yeah, one year. One year. Oh, now it's family. Yeah. Now that's studio's family. <laughs> yeah, no, no, everybody here is amazing, dude. I have no uh, complaints. They probably have complaints about me because in the beginning, I didn't know the, the, the unspoken rules kind of shit. So I've been trying to do better. <laughs> I mean, aren't we all, right? <laughs> yeah. But it's just like, um, like with residencies, uh, like I didn't know certain rules when I was an artist and, um, I was just like, well, do we stay here or do, like, do I live here? Like, we, you got to let me know because I ask a lot of questions and I know I that you. annoys a lot of people, but like, I just don't want to make the wrong step. And um, this guy told me, he's like, you need to stop asking questions. And I was just like, but how will I know the answer? They're like, they'll let you know when it's wrong. So just keep doing you. Well, if I don't tell you that, to <laughs> don't ask for permission. You just keep me. on going. Yeah. yeah. And I was just like, okay, because I was just like, oh, let me just ask because I don't want to offend anybody. I ended up offending people all the time. Yeah. You know, I, I, well, that's why to me, it, it was cool to be in the places that I've been because I went to high school in New Jersey. Mm -hmm. So there was none of that offending shit. <laughs> First, then I worked with like the craziest haters and I love them to death. They're my brothers and we hated on, on each other. Like bad, like Dave Chappelle, haters club type mm -hmm. of shit. If I offend you, I don't mean it, right. but I'm, you know, like, whoops, you know, like, like, I'm not going to do anything on purpose. You know, like, I don't do that. And if I offend you, you let me know. Of course, I'm going to be like my bad, but I'm not going to be like, Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Like no, no. Yeah. I'm I'm completely free of that bullshit. Like I'm not gonna go through that shit. No. And I, yeah. And if I say this, I offend somebody. I'm sorry. But like, it's so funny because it's just like you don't. 
what's the right way to say this? Sensitivity meters have definitely gone up lately. Yeah. And it's hard to kind of... got to check yeah. yourself. That's it. If you check yourself and you get offended by everything, then you must... There's something That's about you that you, know, you need to deal with. And then it's not about us. It's about you. Deal with your shit. Mm -hmm. And um, and that's the same thing with seeking validation from other people. It's just like, all right, well, that, that seems like a you problem, unfortunately. So you just need to go within for yourself, get yourself all worked out. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's absolutely nothing wrong with, like, going within, getting yourself together so you can be a better person the next day. And, um, and I think that is awesome. And then for the immigrant experience as you like notated in your pdf that you sent me i think i feel like that's already a powerful thing because i feel like like what is an american what is an immigrant in my opinion because it's just like we who's a native who is not a native yes yes you go crazy with that so yeah again you know, I as as all the all the places that I have to be in, I have to realize that no, you know what? I'm not gonna touch it. I'm not gonna get offended if I'm not. If they reject me, if they don't, like I'm gonna be me anywhere I go. And if they don't want me here, then I go somewhere else. And if they don't want me somewhere else, then I go somewhere else. And it, it'll be where I want to be, not where they want to send me. So exactly, that's it. And it's I'm gonna be an artist Canada. anywhere, dude. <laughs> and it's Canada, and I love it. And Canada is such a melting pot, anyway. Yeah. Like, that's yeah. one thing that's so awesome about it. My friend just moved there, and she's just like, oh, my God, you're going to have to come live here. I'm like, no, no, this place is awesome, dude. You can't. You, the food is great. The people are cool as hell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Dude. It's absolutely. Yeah, it's not a box. And no, it, um, the, government, the government is a little outdated, and in the, in the, in you can tell, but they mean well. I do think they mean well, so. Yeah. Yeah. But at the same time, like, just freedom of expression, I think, is just what we strive for as human beings because we have like a set path, like internally, in my opinion, like I said, I feel like we have like our own creative outlets in this world to make this world a better place, regardless if our voice is heard, somebody's going to hear it. And I always say like, no matter how many likes or views or whatever, the right people are going to see your stuff. The right people are just going to get the impact that you put out. You're never just going to be muted. And I think, you know, we get perceived a narrative that, oh, if you don't get as many likes or if you don't do this, that, and the other, you're not going to get the same recognition. You're not going to get the same opportunities. You're like, all right, well, cool. I'll just make my own. <laughs> and Easy. that's it. Easy. And that's what you've done for yourself. You made your own. And look how successful you are. Look how powerful you are. You're standing strong. And you're such an inspiration and that you can't, you can't, um, you can't use that word so loosely. Like when I say it, and I don't even try to be, friends. I don't, I don't know, but I just want to really show people like me, they can do whatever the hell they want. It's not just this, it's whatever they want, whatever you really desire and feel strongly that you can support. This is a place where you can do it. So that's why I figure, you know, Canada, let's go to Canada. Okay. And that's why we're here. And we're staying here. I love that. So, out of all your projects, what is your favorite one? Okay, the 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 latest, the one before this one, the Emmys, which is the the little guy with the smiley face over there. Mm-hmm. The one <laughs> up there. That's the first <laughs> Emmy. That's pretty cool. Check it out. Again with the silhouettes, but this one has got that smiley face, which is not really happy, but it's not really sad. Yeah, it's just a lovely face. Well, I love it. Well, the, the first Emmy is that first person in your family, my family, anybody's family who migrated to another place. Mm -hmm. The ones that, that opened the, the road for all of us, you know. There's always one. In my, in my case, was my mother. My mother opened, like, the doors for all my family to you know, go to the States and, and like, you know, start a life and stuff. Yeah. I, so, I love that. So it's things like that. Mm -hmm. And it has, it has it's a series of, of faces with, with, like, paint and stuff. And <clears throat> they all reflect that um, the hourly wage 
So some of them, some of them are called four dollar Emmys and sixteen dollar Emmys, sixty dollar Emmys. And the word Emmy comes from, of course, immigrants. Right. But I was, I was called that a lot when I lived in, in New Jersey. Really. You know, like in my first years there, yeah, I was yeah. called an Emmy. You know, you're like the Emmy. So I'm like, yeah, yeah. The kids in high school used to say that word. So yeah. I never got offended about it, but it was always like, okay, yeah. You know. Again, it was it was it was a different time there. Yeah. So yeah, that's why. And and I created a series. They're pretty cool. You can check them out on the website. They're the latest paintings there, and they're pretty cool. They all they all have a face, and they all the colors reflect kind of like. Um, a state of mind or, or mood if you were earning that kind of wage and yeah one of them is called the unlimited emmy and yeah it's pretty I love yeah that. it's pretty cool yeah that, that i i have it i have that one close to my heart because i really wanted to do that i like that now i'm not gonna lie when you said emmy like i'm thinking like an award no no not the emmys I no, I know, <laughs> but like that's how my brain went, and I was just like, "That is so awesome!" Because like, yes, you are golden. Fuck oh, it, your art you. is golden. Thank you, my thank brain. you. But no, I, it's <laughs> my, even bigger than the Emmys. The Emmys. I was We're like, We're taking no. over, baby. <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, that's really cool." I'm glad he's like naming his like give himself a medal. And you weren't talking about that. That's why I was just like, I was a little bit embarrassed to say. No, <laughs> like, it's all good. It's that. all good. It's funny. It's funny moment. Oh, my gosh. Man, I should never have a platform. <laughs> like that now. Oh, my God. That's so funny. Um, no, I think that's great. And you have so many projects coming up. And I know uh, maybe another gallery or, um, I don't know, a studio, parents. Like, what's... What else is well, there? The studio visits are only by appointment, right? Right. And, yeah. and, and what else? Galleries? Mm -hmm. No, right now I'm, I'm staying, I'm laying low right now. I'm Let's just leave it like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I see you more on social media and doing uh, interesting trends. And uh, Yeah, that's what I call laying low. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. 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 Like I'm not, I'm not advertising my work mm -hmm. as, as, something that i sell but i'm just you know i'm, yeah, sure. I'm just doing I'm, I'm painting i'm just painting and that's it that's that's if you ask me what i'm doing i'm just painting i'm in my studio and i'm painting and there's nothing wrong no i love that so as a beginning artist in the world and how we're progressing you know with ai and technology and how we see art in uh, missing the authenticity of uh, how we see things like on social media or, or anything like that. How do you feel uh, the art industry is going, in your opinion, and with your experience? Well, I believe every tool can, can be used for good or not. Mm -hmm. And if you understand what you need, you got to use what you can. That's it. Like if it's there, of course, ChatGPT will never replace anything. It's just another tool, man. Like, use it. Ask it questions. It makes you wonder things. It makes you get to do things faster. Why yeah. the hell not? You know, like, that's it. You got to do everything. And it's not just that. It's any other AI. It's intuitive. It can help you. And that's it. It's just another tool. Like, even the NFTs, when they ask me about NFTs, if there's another way that I can, artists can earn a living, dude, hell yeah. And yeah. if there's people who are shady doing it, well, there's people shady doing fucking everything. So it's, it's not even, trust me, man. It's like, it's, it's, it's just another avenue for artists to make money. You can't hate on that. You cannot hate on that. Like You can't. You can't. Because you know, you know what? If you're a real artist, it's just another way of making money. So good. Do it. That's it. Mm -hmm. If you don't like it, then don't do it. That's it. And I but it is. Yeah, And I think what is good about it, like we were discussing before, um, I think if you can use it for your benefit, I think that is good. But with mm -hmm. anything, it can always be a negative outcome. Makes sense. That's with like without technology and with technology. And um, I know I was talking to my grandmother and uh, every day she's just like, 
she's just my grandmother but uh she she's in the state of like you're just out there doing nothing with your life and i'm like i'm i'm happy and she's like i know you're happy but like stability but yeah. she i'm she's just like she still has a landline right and <laughs> i realize a lot of people don't yeah. nowadays Careful. don't know what that Careful. is and i was just like like you know, she's just like, now you got all this technology, you're being watched and stuff like that. I said, you know what? We were being watched. Now we are, n now that we know we're being watched, you know, because we also have a little bit of that technology too. It's not just one sided anymore. That's so right. fear is fear, regardless of what weapon you do have. Absolutely. So, <laughs> so yeah. it's just like, again, no matter what again. AI or anything like that, it's just, it is what it is. Cool. Let me use it for my benefit. That's right. It's out here. Let me use it for my benefit. Especially artists. Especially artists. Yes. Because artists used to be revered. We were like freaking gods in the fucking past. Oh, yes. You know, like, so we can't lose that because we no. create things out of nothing. And that's not peanuts. You know, that's yeah. something. You know, mm -hmm. most people don't do that. And no. if a person chooses to do that and make a living of it and make it a business, you fucking support that. Because it, do. it enriches the world. It, it, it just it just brings culture. It brings questions. It brings shock. It brings stuff. It brings emotions. It brings a lot of things to the world. You have to fucking do it. I always say, you gotta, if you feel like you got to be an artist, bro, you have to go all in, man. That's it. Not everybody has the guts to do that because they have the guts to do something else. Yeah. Done. How can you lose? when that's what you really want to do because Ooh, you're going to figure out a way everybody like you figure out a way nonetheless and um like now we have more resources it's just like thank you for this tool now i'm going to use it for my benefit that's, and, it. Uh, as, that's you will never replace people exactly. people are cool as hell dude people are crazy and people have moods you know, you listen to all those robots talking, like, yeah, they're going to intuitive, they're, they're crazy, and they're going to talk like, yes, but you are you, dude. You can change your mind today. You can wake up tomorrow and be like, I can buy a ticket and go to a beach and mm -hmm. do it. You know what I mean? Like, like, humans are cool. I love that. So nothing can replace that, especially art, you know, because this comes out from yeah, that's the soul. it. That's it. Yeah. And I was telling my friend, I was just like, you know what, with AI and everything, they can copy and copy paste, whatever, but you can sell your stuff more now. That's physical labor. That's it. Labor costs has gone up. Oh, you want to raise the price of eggs? Labor costs has gone up, baby. But, oh, you got to price yourself right as yes. well. You know, you got you to gotta appreciate what you do. Don't be crazy. So oh, you, you know. definitely <laughs> gotta know, understand the market you want to get into. It's it's more like understand where you want to where you want to get into, mm -hmm. you know, like and work backwards because that's that's pretty much how it is. Yeah. That's it. And then you paint. Don't paint for them, you know. Paint, paint, and then find people who who will buy that kind of stuff. Because then that's not sustainable if you paint for people unless it's commission, unless it's mm -hmm. you know, unless that's a side business you do. But when I mean this like shit that comes out of my head because it wants to, out of my heart. And when you, I had, a, I had an experience where I didn't create something that I wanted to, and it just like, and I have like little journals around the house and I just write it down because I'm like, I'll get to it. But at a time I didn't, and I didn't realize like how, how much of a connection to an idea that we have, like, mentally and like spiritually from the heart like you have to get it out like one way or another you might show them on a notepad a canvas Absolutely. you may like i don't know create it like on AI. I, I i don't know but eventually it gets out but the more time you hold on to it the more time that you're just like oh i don't know how it's going to turn out and you overthink it kind of just That's kills right. it it makes you it's just like it's a very uncomfortable feeling yeah. So when an artist like gets to express and like let it flow, and like sometimes like 
one thing I really like about social media that you do get to see artists like paint and their whole progress and the process of it. Yeah. It's a beautiful expression because like I would, I would love to see painters like traditional painters back in yonder times where they were honored and just their creative like process and like seeing their little bit of expression like mm, I don't know and like playing with different uh, paint brushes and things that's like how my brain works but I love seeing that because yeah. that's like the investment what you get back when you purchase something from them that's it's right. like a little piece um, of them and and. I always tie it to the immigrant experience in my work. That's what I do. You know what I mean? It's the, it's the same love. We can't lose the love. You can't yeah. become something else just, just because the immigrant experience wasn't pleasing. Right. It's not supposed to be, man. That shit is like being born again. It hurts. Yeah. Just go through it and, 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 you know, in my case, paint it, you know, and, and, and I paint it as a way of, of showing you know, nice colors, man. That the world needs a little color. Yeah. And I'm Colombian too, so fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I need all the color. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. And, I and, love um, Colombia. And I, I love representing those love, colors. Love that. I love that. And um my mom is black and Cuban and my dad is black and French. So it's just like a whole <laughs> when you say nice, that's nice, brother. Nice. I love it. I love amazing, it. Amazing amazing food. <laughs> if I could eat without <laughs> having any heartburn or any problems, I would. I would eat it all day. Um, no, I, I you're, I'm just honored again to interview you and uh, helping your story get out even Thank more and more each day. Um, like I tell people on this page, if I see it, I post it on my story. I try to post it in your area so other people can see it. It's just, you know, helping each other out. And I saw other people engaging with one another. And that's all I wanted to do here. And uh, I see that I just, I don't know. I feel like we're on to something here and building a community. And, and I'm I agree. So happy that you're a part of it. In, uh, I agree 100%. And I think that we're actually kind of close to going back to like a real like barter system yeah. where people can just be like, you know, I have this, you have that, you're going to give me the value I'm asking for and I'm going to give and I'm going to get exactly that. I do think that's going to be the future. And that's where, again, they can't fuck with us if we do that. Yeah. You know, they can. And by they, you know who I yes. am, <laughs> you know, I know. <laughs> whatever. I do yes. know. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Ryan, I met you too. <laughs> My boy, Ryan. Thank you, Sobo. Mm, we have a lot of joiners. Hello. We're just listening to each other talk, but thank you for joining. Uh, we appreciate all the love and uh, the shout outs and everything. Um, I remember my first one only had like one viewer. And it's okay. yeah, I was telling my mom, and she's like, Oh, I'm so sorry. I was like, No, hey, I could have had zero. One you know, is so awesome. <laughs> someone said it on a on a on, on a video somewhere. Mm -hmm. You know, imagine if, if if you know if you get three if if you get thirty likes, it's cool. If I get thirty people, thirty appointments, yeah. thirty paintings, exactly. you know, okay. right? you know. So again, that, that's not that's not why I do it. Right. But I know that's the point. I know the point is for you to create and understand a market. And cater to a market, find a ways to market it, just like you do any business, but you create the product from love and from your hands, you know. So I won't stop. That's it. It's just it's just it's like a perfect thing. To me, it's just perfect. So it, it's that. awesome. It's, it's really cool. If there's one person, four people, they're the best. And and I think that uh has gotten me throughout the years, like the stuff that I I personally have been through, and I've always been kind of told like, oh my gosh, you're naive, or like you're a child. I'm like, I may have childlike faith, but when I'm down, I really build myself up from the bottom <laughs> because like I I just have this thought. I'm like, I'm not put here to just suffer and like conform into something that I know it's just not me. That's right. And that is perfect. It will fail. And you will fail. At the end, today, 70, 80, 90 years, you will fail if you don't love it. Yeah. 
and and you know it takes me one time and you know i learn a lesson one time and i i go from that but i think it's just right now it's just like we're so scared to make a mistake and i think mistakes are just building blocks because you just learn how to bob and weave pivot to what you need to do and just move on you keep going and a lot of people don't want you to keep going because that's not what they did and that's like their personal oh yeah mr Mr. Palazzi in my freaking high school, Weehawk in high school, said, well, no, what is it? none of you can make it because I didn't make it. He said some dumb shit like that. And we all looked at each other like, whoa, that's a great way to start art class. <laughs> you know, like that dude was yeah, he's completely, that, man. Don't you love professors who hate uh, your careers? Well, they give you, at the end, they give you fuel if you take it as such, you yeah. know, like, and I, and I, and eventually I, I, look, I still remember him for saying things like that, because how do you, you know, it was like, like, I always knew it was create, it's something creative or nothing, you know, and I've been okay, man, I'm not, I'm not complaining. No, you're, you're a powerful powerhouse, man, and I'm lucky to have uh, met you through online, and uh, thank you, likewise. Yeah, and uh, I, I just to know another fighter in the creative industry is uh, mm -hmm. helpful, and I know you inspire many. Like I see Kareen on here, uh, your friend Ryan, and like so many other people. Hello, hi. Uh, <laughs> you inspire so many people, and um, and I just appreciate you. And sometimes, you know, even though we say we don't need to hear it, but sometimes it's just nice to hear. It. So I appreciate you, Jose. I Thank appreciate you. your appreciate story. You as well. I appreciate your journey. And I think we are just, you're just about to take off and just keep doing you, man. You're an inspiration. I agree with everything you just said. Inspiration, man. Thank so, you. So last words before instagram kicks us off because apparently there's an hour cap and i can talk to you for hours so perfect <laughs> um what would be your last standing message to wrap everything up for your story and how uh you are creating your own path and giving the advice to people that are younger than us and people who are at the same age and just have like that self-sabotaging notion of like keep moving forward Two words, be kind. Just be kind. You see someone who's trying to follow something crazy that you don't understand, but you you still think he's going to fail. Be kind. Be kind. Because everybody is going through crazy shit right now. It's a crazy moment in the world. Toronto is clearly going through a moment. And just be kind. I think that's the first thing I would say. Just be kind to yourself. You know, be kind mm -hmm. to yourself. How you talk to yourself matters. You know, if you put yourself down, that's where you're going to stay. So, no, you got to go up every day. You're, you're, you're a hunter. Do you got to, you got to go at it every day. And with kindness, I still think that that's it. Just be kind. I love that. So, uh, closing this lovely and moving interview, just be kind. And Jose, I thank you so much for joining thank me you. today, taking the time and showing me your studio. That was a huge surprise. I didn't know you were going to do that. That got me really excited. Yeah, no, I had to, I had to run over here because I was, I was doing some errands around, and I remember that it was seven and six. I was like, nah, I'm just going to be at six, and <laughs> you know. Awesome. I'm sorry. I try thank to put you. both time zones because I'm like. It's all good. <laughs> and then sorry if I'm a little tired. I've been working like fucking straight at this painting that I've been doing. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Journey of the artist, man. Yeah, this is caked on, so I look a hot mess. <laughs> we all have the tired eyes. Like <laughs> I get you, but no, I appreciate you, and I'm honored, and uh, I'm so happy that I get to experience this on your Thank journey. You. And I'm always gonna share your stuff, and um, we're gonna keep moving forward. That's right. Spreading that love right. vibration. Yeah. That's, that's what and, we and do. Include me in projects, dude. Let me know if you need anything and yeah. let, let's let's work. What the hell? Yeah, so another thing that I'm working on, just real quick, when basically Nanish has to get 
things off their feet a little bit i do want to start having like different like uh creative projects where all of us do different things and create like one big piece or uh something other on that type so i, think I get it really yeah, yeah. absolutely awesome yeah but th thank you and i hope you have a lovely night absolutely. and i can't wait to see more of your pieces thank and you. i will do the most love and light to you absolutely so Likewise, thank you. Sending you thank all the love. You. Thanks again for the support. No problem. Thank you so much. You guys thank have a good night. Thank you, you for too. joining. Thank you guys. Awesome.